Kavat wants to know which wrestlers from the 2000s do we think had the best chance of getting over, but WWE just gave up on them. Here are your choices. Mordecai, Sean O'Hare, Kazarni, Sylvester Tarkai, Kenzo Suzuki, or the Boogeyman? Uh, I go with Sean O'Hare all the way. I thought Sean O'Hare was going to be a star. Yes. Uh, the Piper thing did him in because Piper got in trouble and... Uh, they punished O'Hare for it. It reminds me of when Ron Killings was a road dog. Road dog got suspended for drug use, started bad mouth in the company, and they punished Killings. Uh, everybody remembers that when he was uh, K Quick. And um, so the same thing happened to O'Hare. I, I just I always think that association and you punish the other guys a bunch of shit. O'Hare had nothing to do with Piper's interview on HBO. Uh, you know, I, I, it was very unfortunate. And then O'Hare has never been the same. He had a lot of problems in life after he got released from WWE. Um, you know, I don't even know what he's doing today. I know he's rested a multiple uh, amount of times. Um, you know, he got into ultimate fighting, you know, had a pretty bad record. But he should have been a star in the company. He had the look. He can talk. That devil's advocate gimmick was that awesome. That was great. That not, not telling, telling you anything you, you already, already know. know. Catchphrase was great. Yeah. And once again, somebody else's screw-up punishes another guy. I will never understand that. I know. Total, total, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Sean O'Hare, without a doubt, on that list. You know, yeah, the it, devil's advocate gimmick with him in the suit and being a troublemaker backstage and talking people and doing things that were hurt themselves, I thought it was great. I, I, I thought it was original, mm -hmm. um, you know, but I just thought the all hair delivered it perfectly. And he had, a, he had kind of a different look, too. He didn't look like a typical pretty boy. He didn't look like a typical – He and he was a giant guy. I mean, 6'5", 285, he's sure. a big dude. Sure. I just – like I said, it was one of those things that you just – and I'm sure Sean to this day sits in his home in North Carolina and says, what the fuck happened? No, I, I and they've never done a shoot interview. Oddly enough, oddly enough, they've never gotten them for a shoot interview. Yeah, you, you know that's that's a good point. I'm surprised that. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Rob, get on that. Or oh, Mike from uh, High Spots, get on that. Well, you try. He lives in Carolinas. Why aren't High Spots doing an interview with him? Yeah, you know that's an interesting story. You were an up and coming star. Yeah, you were one of the top stars yeah. in WCW. They picked yeah. you up. Yeah. You were the natural born thrillers, and what the hell happened? Yeah, Feinstein. If you get yeah, a hold nice. of what get we're saying, I mean, or you people out there. That. Go on Feinstein's page and tell him, say, you know, how come you never did a Sean O'Hare and shoot? I uh, yeah, to, no, I want to know Sean if... Sean Oliver, Sean Oliver. You want to get somebody who probably has a lot of controversial things to say, get Sean O'Hare on there, man. Yeah. I'm sure he's got a lot to say. I think that would be a great one. I mean... Yeah, it's guy. If anybody's listening, you know, <laughs> Daniel Bryan fans, get on that. Yeah. <laughs>